Nowadays, almost everything is code encrypted. Your phone, your iPad, your Wi-Fi, your suitcase, the door of your building, and of course, your credit card has a digit code. For sure, it's better to be safe. By the way, how safe is your wallet? In your own home, for example, have you ever realized you were missing some cash? Or is it safe in your own bedroom? Your credit card number never ended up on the internet without your consent? At the office, are you really sure nobody can sneak in your wallet and violate your privacy? Then we realized there was one item that we don't secure enough, our wallets. This is why we created and are proud to present the Mini Safe Wallet. The first code encrypted pocket size vault, including a locking system with a thousand different combination possibilities and a choose your own system. It's also guarded with RFID blocking technology. Your contactless cards will be kept safe and protected from electronic pickpockets. The lock is made out of metal for maximum reliability, giving easy access to all your cards which are stored and well sorted. It can hold US dollars and euros and fit up to 12 cards. We've been working on this idea for the past two years with professional engineers to reinvent and develop the locking system to adapt it to a wallet. It's very light and strong thanks to its conception and high quality materials. We've also been working with the designer Eric Burtis and his design agency in Paris to make this wallet aesthetically beautiful and practical in its use. In 2014, more than 5,300 backers on Kickstarter helped us bring Zenlet alive. Today, tens of thousands of Zenlets can be found in more than 20 countries. We're encouraged to explore new possibilities while keeping the core value of Zenlet. Now we are back on Kickstarter, proud to introduce our whole new products.
all of you on Kickstarter have contributed to what Zenlet is today. Now, we invite you to join us again. Help us to spread Zenlet to the world. Zenlet L, Zenlet 2, Zenlet 2 Plus. Has this ever happened to you? Accepting change is easy, but keeping it has always been a struggle. It's the year 2016, but we haven't really put a lot of thought into how we keep our change. We've devised all sorts of methods to work around this age-old dilemma. But let's face it, current wallets just don't fit the bill. We've always received change together, so why must we separate our coins and cash? So we created KIN, a wallet that separates your coins and cash in a cinch. Wait, what? You heard right, just throw everything into the top. Yup, everything. Don't worry, KIN will do the rest for you. KIN makes the change keeping experience more convenient and more manageable, so that you can have an ease of mind. We've spent months researching on materials, prototyping, and testing to bring you KIN, an elegant solution to an everyday problem designed to give you a better wallet experience. We hope to make KIN a reality, but in order to do so, we need your help. Fund us today and help us make a change with KIN. There's something all-American about that leather baseball glove that you get, that your dad passes down to you, or the grandpa passes down to you, or your brother gives to you. And in my case, that was, uh, that, was, that was what happened. So my brother, he gave me this baseball glove. At first, the glove didn't fit. After a while, my hands started to fit it because I started to use the thing more and more. And leather is just this amazing, this kind of versatile material. The way that this wallet is made is it is sandblasted um, with this uh, glass media, the same way that, uh, that you know, a Mac uh, product is made. Um, it's stainless steel, it's spot welded, and it is laser cut. Um, and then it's finished with this media to round the edges. Uh, from there, they'll take and they cut out all of the leather I assemble it all by hand. Everything's made by hand. Um, and you'll find that this little tab right here, this little button up there at the top, it's CNC machined. You can't find it anywhere else. So we custom machined this little tab uh, to fit so that when you close this strap up, it's secure. It almost feels magnetic. When it closes, it just, it just snaps right into place. It's meant to last too. It really is. Um, the issue with most leather wallets is actually that they fail at the stitching, right? Because most wallets, almost every wallet out there, is made with stitching, but our wallet is not. See, it's kind of stitched together in a way, but it's stitched together with this 550 paracord, 550 pounds worth of stitching strength, and this thing's not coming apart at the stitches first. The way that this is wrapped together is almost like origami. It's, uh, it's put together in this way that um, makes it so that the wallet will outlast. Makes it so that this wallet is the type of wallet that you'd be able to pass on to your son or your grandson. Some of the functions on this wallet are that it has this cash clip here in the back. So you open this up and you can just see the elasticity of this wallet. Now this is one that I've been carrying around for a while and it still has that elasticity and that form right to all my cards. Right here is a cash clip. Of course, I don't have any cash, but you put the cash there in the back and then right here is a bottle opener. You fold everything over and you can pop open a beer or a soda or whatever it is that you're uh, opening. I find that some people have some pretty amazing stories about these wallets. Um, one gentleman, he dropped it off of the back of his truck 
it landed on the side of the freeway. It was there for two months. A uh, one of those one of those uh, road kind of excavator things. They, the ones that uh, that clear off all the road debris. It went over it and it kind of it nicked the wallet. And after two months in the sun and the snow, this thing survived. And another person told me once that, you know, this is kind of a side note. Uh, they actually took an orange and just jammed the back of this thing into an orange and started to cut it open. It's like, you know, some people will find some amazing uses for the metal on the side of this wallet. So another feature that this wallet has, and most of our wallets have this, is this little uh, eyelet hole right here in the back. So you can take a carabiner or you could take paracord or whatever it is that you want and you can hook it onto the back of that. You can hook it inside of your backpack. You could hook it on the outside of your backpack. You could hook it to your climbing gear. You could hook it to your construction gear. And the way that this wallet is constructed is it's meant so that the cards do not fall out. So clip something on there and you've got rest assured that this thing's not going anywhere.